Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to give you a quick look through my book journal as well as show you how I keep track of all the books that I read. Some of you may know that I read a lot, <laughs> um, especially since uh, lockdown has started in the UK. So far this year I have read 67 books and so I'm just gonna give you a flip through. So my journal planner cover is custom made from Lewis and Louisa um, and so this was custom made for me in this sort of really lovely green galaxy style with gold splatters on there. I've also posted another video previously where I give you a quick flip through and a tour of my journal. So in here I have my weeks and then I also have Hobonichi Weeks notebook which I keep my book tracker and then I also have this insert which I use as a book journal. So this insert is from is the, one of the official Hobonichi Weeks booklets. So um, it's got Tomo River paper in it, so it's, there's, it isn't very thick, but there's quite a lot of pages in it. And I plan with this one um, to keep just a brief track of what I've been reading and carry it with me um, throughout my, you know, through the years. So at the end of this year, when I finish using my weeks, I want to swap in this notebook so I keep it with me. So the first page is just um, an intro with my goals for the year. Originally I was obviously hoping to read 52 books, but um, obviously I managed to smash that completely this year. And then I also wanted to read some classic books. I'm a member of a book club on Facebook that I helped to run, so I wanted to um, read one book a month with them and also read some new authors as well. So people. I get really stuck sometimes um, in reading just the same things by the same authors over and over again. Um, so I just wanted to keep a track of that as well. So I've since changed that really to be more uh, debut authors, but I guess it's kind of the same thing. So um, yeah, so that's my first page. And then really the rest of the journal um, of my tracker is really simple. I don't complicate it. It's kind of messy. I use different pens depending on what I just happen to have to hand. Um, yeah, it's really simple. So I make a note of uh, the book title, I make a note of the author, the date that I finished reading the book, as well as my star rating. I then also make a note of the number of pages and I also make a note of whether this was a debut book or not. So if it was a first book that that author had written. So yeah, it's just really simple. Um, and yeah, I plan to continue updating this throughout the year as well as keep it with me for next year. As I said, there's quite a lot of pages in here, despite how slim it looks. And the next booklet I have is my book journal. So this insert is the Rainbow Galaxy insert from Chelsea Paper Co, which is another UK based company. And um, this one I use to keep a journal uh, while I'm writing. So when I read, because especially now that I read so much, I like to keep a note of things like quotes that I really enjoyed, notes on the characters, especially if there's a lot of them in a book, it can get quite hard to keep track. Um, and also just any other bits of information such as sort of important pieces of lore, um, especially in like fantasy or sci-fi books where there might be some, you know, complicated magic systems and things like that. And so, and also it just helps me to remember, um, for example, if it's the first in a series, I might sometimes read, you know, the whole series or just one and come back to the next second. So that helps me to remember what happened. So the, my first page in here is just contents, just so that in future, because I'm sure I'm going to fill this up soon. Um, so when I come back to it, I can just quickly see what's in this book. So again, it's really nothing fancy, like I'm a really minimalist planner. So um, yeah, it's just literally the date that I started the book and the date I finished it. So you can see some of these I read in one day. <laughs> so, um, and then for each of the books that I read, I print out just a nice picture of the cover and stick that in. Um, I also then write the title and the author along the side of the page on the edge, as well as I can make a note of the page numbers, the date that the book was published, when I started and finished the book and also my rating. And then as I say, as I go through, I just make some really brief notes about quotes um, and things about each book. So 
so um, I write the details just on the side of the pages just because then when you flick through especially because these aren't numbered pages that makes it really easy to quickly find what I'm looking for um, so yeah so it's really simple I don't believe in you know making things too complicated as then I just won't keep up with it um, and yeah as you can see I tend to um, with characters try and keep their name and any brief details just on one line I started doing that here just because when I'm flicking through trying to find something that just makes them stand out a bit better um, yeah and just with a bullet point with the name and dashes for like important stuff so again just so that it's easier to spot um, and obviously quotes are pretty self-explanatory um, so yeah it's really as I say really simple but I find that works really well for me um, and I just really enjoy doing it as well it's quite relaxing to do when I read as well um, so yeah so that's a flip through of my book journal um, I hope that you found it inspiring and helpful especially if you're someone who is perhaps new to bullet journaling or new to keeping a book journal just to show you that it really doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to have you know lots of pictures or anything like that if you don't want to um, it's totally fine for you to have a journal that's simple and that just works for you so thanks you so much for watching and i hope you will join me for my next video bye for now